It's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with a new pen and ink day. Kind of. Kind of. I have a couple new pens, <laughs> and then I have a new ink, which is actually not a new ink. Um, I swatched this one the other day, and ended up finding it on Gold Spot. And I wasn't going to get it, but then I was looking around, and I saw... This box is huge, by the way. It's huge. It's absolutely bananas but that makes sense because this is like a 90 a 90 gram bottle but look how look how huge this is or not 90 gram 90 mils these bottles are freaking insane look how beautiful they are they stack so if you have two of them you can stack them on top of each other that's what this well is for um but yeah i love this thing so much i've already i haven't used up the whole sample but i've used the Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong sample. Um, I don't see where it is right now, but um, I have used the fill that was in, it was in this pen actually. I've used it all up and um, yeah, it was studying and I, they happen to have it, so I got it. And this is the box that comes in. It's, it's seriously gigantic. It's bonkers. It just slides in like this and there you go like it's huge it's huge here's my hobonichi weeks next to this box and it's it's a square box and it's yeah it's it's huge it's huge it's huge but yeah amazing amazing i'm very excited now i get to use this ink whenever i want to my box got dinged up, but it's just, a, it's a really pretty package. Like, it's a really nice, it has like, oh, this is all like a leather pull tab, even. Like, wow. 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 I apologize in advance. I think I'm getting sick, and so I will try to edit out sniffles, but if I miss any of them, I'm sorry. Um, now we have three of the same pens. It's the Faber-Castell Grip, which I've never really been interested in. But they came out with these new sparkly colors. So, of course, I was like, I must need them. And I couldn't decide. I was only going to get one, and I couldn't decide. So, I got all of them. They're $24. I found them at Gold Spot. Gold Spot's actually, I think, they were doing a giveaway. I don't know if they still are. But, um, yeah. This is the silver one. The only other Faber-Castell pen that I have is the Hexo, and I really like that pen. This is like a, this is, well that is also I guess an entry level pen, but this is like, also, I like this finish. Come on. And then this is the pearl. The pearl and the silver. So silver's a little darker. And then this purple one. This purple one looked a lot um, lighter and shinier in the pictures. But here are the different colors. I've never used one of these pens before. It has these bumps on it. And this grip. It's a triangular grip, but it's really like slight. Like it still forces you to use a triangle grip, but it's got like a nice sort of rubbery texture to it. I think posting it makes it a little long, but it's a really lightweight pen. It takes cartridges. Looks like it comes with a cartridge and then this was in here. Um, I did order a converter. I thought I ordered three converters, but I only got one and when I checked my receipt, it shows I only had one, so, um, so yeah, so I got a Faber-Castell uh, cartridge. So we'll ink one of these up. I don't know which one I want to ink up. I guess maybe this one, because this is the one I opened. And I think we'll go ahead and use one of the new uh, Sailor 50 States inks. I think we'll go with Wisconsin, because that's the one that I grabbed. 
yeah, so let's just go ahead and ink this up and check it out. They're all medium nibs. Um, Goldspot had fine on their website as well, but they were sold out. So I don't know if they don't have the fines in stock yet or if everybody just bought fine ones. I did not grab something to wipe the pen off with. Do I have? I don't. So let me grab a paper towel real fast. Hi, Coral. Okay. I do not get a full fill on this pen, but that's okay. We're just testing it out. Yeah, hi. And I'm noticing also that the body is also triangular, not just the grip. So. And I don't like these stickers, so I'll be peeling that off. Comes off very easily. So let's do a quick writing sample. Zoom in. Oops. And it's a slip cap, so it does um, it does come off like that. I'm not gonna post it. It's really lightweight. It just makes it really long, and I don't like that. So. This is the Faber Castell. Is it two L's or one? Castell. And this is the Pearl. All right, Pearl. With a medium nib. The ink is Sailor. It's really smooth. I was feeling some feedback when I was writing, so I don't know if I just like... There isn't really any feedback. There's no... I'm not having any problems with it. This ink is lovely. Yeah, it's a really nice nib. It's a really nice nib. I have, my Hexo has a medium, or a bold nib, and I think it's the same, it has the same sort of uh, pattern on the nib, but that nib is like a black coated nib. Um, so I think it might probably be the same sort of nib, It's but um, yeah, this is, yeah, it writes really nicely. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the grip of it because I'm, I, don't, I feel like I'm forced to hold it this way and it's not uncomfortable. It just, I, it feels like I don't want to hold it that way. It kind of makes me want to do one of these, but yeah. Yeah. First impressions are, it's nice. I like the finish. I think it's a really pretty color. It's iridescent. It's beautiful. So here's the close-up of the pearl, which is a little, you know, a little lighter. Here's the silver, which is darker. A close-up of those. And then the purple. I really couldn't decide because I was like, oh, but pearl is like pearl. And then the silver was so pretty, but then the purple, I really just couldn't decide. So I didn't. Yeah, but they're $24 at Gold Spot. Um, I purchased a con one converter, which I think was like 6 or $7 maybe. Um, I would probably maybe, I like to have a gajillion pens ink, so I may go and get a couple more converters. 
Um, or I think it's just a standard international. I don't think it has to be a Faber-Castell branded one. I probably have, I have standard international converters. I could probably stick in these, but I just like having, I like having, um, extra converters. So this is the, uh, Faber-Castell grip. And yeah. In the we have violet glam, which is this purple, silver glam, which is this uh, dark one that's not focusing, and then the pearl glam, which is this pearlescent. This one's really pretty. I don't know if I have a favorite, but I'm kind of glad that I have each of them. <laughs> So yeah, so thank you for watching this quick little video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, are you planning on getting this pen? They're they're not as they're um I feel like they're more muted in person than they look like on the websites um and in the marketing materials, but I I think they're really great. I like it. Here's the cl the clip is a nice it's just a nice clip. It seems like it would be sturdy. I don't I don't clip pens on pockets, so I don't know if it's functional in that way. It seems like it works pretty well though. But yeah, overall a really lovely pen. And yeah, I'm going to enjoy these. You'll probably be seeing these next month in 30 inks. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I um, hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Take care, bye bye. Oh, and if you're waiting for the comparison video, I'm still sorting my ink cards. I had so many that weren't organized, so I'm still working on that. We'll still be doing that. Don't worry, we're still gonna, still gonna do that. It's just taken me longer than I expected it to, so that's my bad, but we will be doing, we will be doing the comparisons, I promise. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Take care, love you, bye.